It's said to be the most technologically advanced theme park in the world. And in the interest of Science Week, Matt and I thought we should put it to the test. Poseidon, Lord of the Seas, at your It was going to be tough. We really had our work cut out for us. There were over 40 rides and attractions to choose from. Oh, including the world's first jewel race and roller coaster. But as we were there, we thought we may as well give it a whirl. All in the name of science. OK, Matt, here's some information for you. Did you know that this is the world's first ever ride to use 3D film, live action, and a revolutionary roving motion-based simulator, all to create the impression that we're helping Spidey in the battle against the forces of evil? You yeah. what? Just prepare to be amazed. Okay. okay. While Matt recovered, I went to find out more about the science and technology used to create some of the attractions here from Mark Watson. Well, Connie, we're very proud of blending the latest technologies into our shows, so we bring the audiences the most exciting experience they can have. Take Dueling Dragons. One of the most important things about Dueling Dragons is that you duel, that you actually come together at three key points. We had to use an advanced technology to weigh each of the vehicles as it's rising up so that they duel and hit at the right time. You go from there to the Incredible Hulk. We wanted to take the energy of Dr. Banner when he just becomes the Incredible Hulk, and we wanted to put that into a, a roller coaster system. The only way we could come up with it is to launch you at 60 feet per second up a 30-degree incline through a zero-G roll. We had to use, again, the latest technologies in order to match the vehicle weights and make that experience just right every time. And then finally, we've got the most technologically advanced Spider-Man. We took a moving motion-based platform, the most technologically advanced, blended it with 3D film and live-action special effects so that you get an experience fighting the evil syndicate over Manhattan, then dropping 40 stories before Spidey catches you on the web, and you can get right back in line and do it over and over again. Now, when you're making these rides up, how long does it take to perfect, and is it risky at all? Well, obviously, it's risky in trying, to, in trying to bring the technologies alive. When we're using advanced technologies, there's a whole lot of testing and, uh, and engineering that goes into it. It's not just the fun. There's a lot of work, a lot of engineering, and a lot of science that goes into each of the components of the ride. Only after we have done all of the component testing, all of the system testing, and finally the engineers have tested it, will we ever allow our guests to experience it. We want to take them to the edge of the thrill, but we're going to bring them back safely every time.